There's a big fat wind machine in front there. It's on the ground there, you can't stay on the ground. <laughs> Definitely shut the door before you yeah. put it up for 4,000 RPM. Yeah. Yeah. Direct to nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Fuel flaps and fine pitch. Hey guys, it's Wayne from Sling Pilot Academy. This week, Jean, Matthew and I are going to jump in the Sling TSI and show you a detailed run-up and pre-takeoff using our standard checklist. Enjoy the video. 2982. Oh, well now we've got the right altimeter setting. <laughs> <laughs> we had so, the right one before, they just cut a new ATIS. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we're coming up now, arriving in the run-up area, you want to always turn into wind, especially on a hot day, but anytime you should turn into the wind, and the reason for that is so that airflow goes onto your coolers, into your cylinders, and your engine doesn't overheat. If you've been taxiing downwind, which is normally the case, you could experience overheating because the air goes past the plate, doesn't really bounce off the propeller back here. Up your RPM up a little bit if, if you are overheating. And if you're stuck not facing the wind, you, you can keep that RPM up a little bit. So you could get it up to, what, two and a half thousand? Yeah, then you two make eight. your own wind, yeah. Two and yeah. a half, two eight, yeah. There's a big fat wind machine in front there. <laughs> Who needs wind? <laughs> make your own. Okay, so, so as I've pulled in, pointing into the wind, I've naturally put on the brake and I've set the throttle to what I want. In this case, there's a bit of breeze blowing, we're nice and cool, so it can just idle for now about 2,000. If you are briefing the pilot, you tell him to, if you're still on the ground, the engine can't stay on the ground. <laughs> Below 600 feet, land, you know, 30 degrees each way in front of you, choose the best place to do it. And if you're above that and you are practiced, you can do a turn back, depending on the wind strength, have a genuine turn back and land on the runway or at least on the airfield somewhere. And then also important in the TSI to let people know that you're in an experimental aircraft. Yes. Okay, so then um, pilot briefing done. So I'm, what I'm gonna do, I've got my flow that I'm used to have been doing for years. I'm gonna do that and then let's go through the checklist and see if I've missed anything. Okay, that's a good idea. Okay, good. Yeah. So my flow, I've been doing it for years. I've got a little, little thing I say in my head. I like to do the flow because you're thinking what you're doing. You'll do what, what you trained and the training is normally to the checklist. But I'm going to start now from the controls. So just controls, I've checked and see. I've done a box check, there's no, nothing interfering. A lot of people look around at that. I think you've checked this in the, in the pre-flight, but you can, if it makes you more comfortable, you can see the elevator is moving. Thank goodness. And the ailerons are moving. If you want to make sure we go left, that one's up. Go right, that one's up. Um, so that's the box check on the controls. Then trim. I checked that I've got my trim there. I know later on on the checklist it is, but we'll check that it is set. Then I'll go temperatures. All temperatures are green. The reason I check that, the next is going to be my run-up, and I want to ensure that the engine's warm enough. If it's a cold winter's morning, you don't do a run-up when it's still cold. So now brake is locked. I'm going to be still clear all around. I'm going to take RPM up to 4,000 in this case. Switch off the air conditioner. Definitely shut the door before you yeah. put it up for 4,000 RPM. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, we taxi because it is quite warm here with the door open, which is quite acceptable, but you want to close it. And you'll remember as soon as it starts blowing. So we're going to go for the run-up. So we take it up to 4,000, and then we we'll switch lane A off. And you'll hear a slight change in RPM. The RPM goes up a and little bit. you can bit. see that we lose some of the, yeah, some of the, some of the inputs. inputs. And you should really wait until that light goes off and do the next one. You'll lose some other inputs, but the, there was no big change in the RPM, and it normally goes up a little bit. And both on, both lane lights checked. I go from there to the fuel, because I keep a flow gain. I switch on the aux pump, switch off the main. There's no change in RPM or drop. I keep my finger there to remember to turn it on. Turn that on, both on for takeoff. And I'll move across the propeller. Take the con speed propeller off auto, and it becomes a variable pitch propeller. I push course. Now, I go for count of three, because that's still reasonable. If you go all the way, as the checklist says, it goes right down, you're taking it down, and well, that's just laboring it. That's you know. really laboring, then yeah. Then I'll go to auto, it's on takeoff, and now it takes it all the way up. We back to our 4,000 plus RPM, and we're on takeoff. I like to look at this as take off that angle you've got a green light for takeoff you're ready for takeoff the flashing green light says that it's fully fine and then you can take it back down to idle or 2000 rpm and the reason you don't want to go much lower than that is because then you get a bit of chatter in the gearbox which isn't good for the gearbox or the prop in fact a little bit higher is good then flaps to one and both fuel pumps are on 
and then I check all gauges starting I go through all green all green all green and we know if there was a problem that light would come on but I always do check them that they're all green and then I check harnesses hatches and any heavy objects and of course gauges check the switches yeah but breakers check yeah so you got everything uh, the only other thing was that navigation is set so yeah it was all in that order so lane A lane B fuel pump yes. I find if I use a checklist I miss things because it doesn't have a flow so use the checklist to check your flow okay so now we're going to go nowhere so I'm going to put nowhere in direct to nowhere <laughs> good navigation is set right so before takeoff we would check the, the transponder. If we've got flight following, we put in the necessary uh, transponder code. Fuel pumps I have checked are on, both are on. Trim is neutral, check that right at the beginning. You can check it again here. Seat belts checked right at the beginning and doors closed and latch. I think the doors closed and latch is a very important one. Yeah. Just before I pull away, I would say harnesses, hatches and heavy objects because things, you sit here waiting for takeoff, things can change. People open a door to get those cool air in, so definitely hatches. I picked that up from you. So I, I do this, exactly the same thing with hatches, and yeah. heavy objects, and then I say fuel flaps, one bitch. That's it's the next one you do, right? Before triple take off. Okay, are we going to aviate? Yeah, should we just cool. do a quick Close lap? And yeah. Okay. Radio call. Cool. Yeah. 240, yeah? Yeah. Okay, cool. And the Torrance Tower 135, Whiskey Tango's uh, at the holding point for a run up area for 29 left, and we'd like a left close traffic if we could for one circuit. <laughs> Lane one three five whiskey tango left close traffic approved only turn around left clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, two nine left left close traffic approved, thanks, five whiskey tango. Okay, fuel flaps and fine pitch. Good. So you know, other little things that you start doing, yeah, you check your runway heading and stuff and let's roll so right, so while we're rolling, SB comes alive, RPM is five thousand eight hundred. And Beautiful takeoff. Ah, feels like you've done that before. <laughs> ah, no, learn from the guy that took up for a demo earlier. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. If your process is any different from ours, please let us know how in the comments below. Otherwise, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. We really appreciate it.